Mm. That's a traditional espresso. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty cool that way. It's like basic mass transfer theory. It looks bad. I mean, I don't, I don't really know, um, but I think, but I think it is. Yeah, look, this is like completely out of the. Um, this is your coffee, right? That is correct. Yeah, I'm like completely in the non. Um, yeah. I weigh every damn thing. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. That's what I do. So you're weighing on a hundred grams? I'm gonna weigh a little more than a hundred. No, why a hundred? Because I can I can then prepare some shots. I mean, do you, is it does that get filled in into the grinder? Is that right or? No, I'm gonna stick them in this. This oh, is my usual my usual workflow is that I just prepare them ahead of time. This is so there's this whole um. I don't know if you've seen these bean sellers and all this kind of stuff. Have you ever seen any of this stuff? Bean sellers? Yeah, they look like test tubes and pee and they um Akaya makes a device that counts out beans. That that black conical thing? Uh no, or no, that's that's something else maybe. Um No, I think that's a hand grinder actually. Okay. No, it um it um oh can, yeah either their ways or uh, counts or counts them out in some way, and then that gets dumped out into these little vials that get uh, put in a rack, and that's kind of the industrial workflow scheme. Oh okay. Yeah, so it automates this project, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's like the first thing I do in the morning. So what's in this coffee anyway? So this coffee is a is a two bean blend. It is a blend of Tanzania AB and uh, a place uh, a natural process coffee from a place called Wamadanta in Honduras. Oh, cool! Okay, and let's see. Okay, now everybody's pretty close. Ooh, okay, this so all ought to be about the same. Alright, so 20.3 for each one. And why am I doing 20.3? Yes. Fuck it if I know. <laughs> so I was 20 is like, you know, my like when I don't know any better, 20 grams in, 40 grams out. Oh, okay. Okay. 50% brew ratio. Nothing magical, right? That's good. Good. 20.4. Because you got to throw one extra bean in. Two extra beans in. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. Here's my opportunity to spill. I will tell you, there there is a way you can spill all this coffee on the floor. Oh, yes. There is. All right, so tear this guy out. Let's see. Okay, how good is this grinder? It still has the same traditional problems. It's quiet. It is really quiet. Now, what is this 700? What does that mean? Just a, a motor RPM. Oh, okay. Like... I haven't learned enough about this grinder to know what it ought to be at, but you can move it up and down. Oh, you can move it home on ah, Yes, you can. Let's see. It's not that fast. No, 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 no. It's not that fast. Oh, not that fast. Oh, yeah. Like, what's a rubber take about five seconds? Yeah, pretty quick. Pretty quick. EK-43, it sounds like a chainsaw, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much have we got? Ooh, look at this. 20. See, we've lost a little bit up in here. Yes. So, it, aver it averages pretty close, but it'll run. But it runs a little bit uh, one way. It does retain still. It's not a solved problem. Marzocco solved the problem. With... Uh, they are using a a high voltage field, a high voltage alternating um, voltage, 
in the, in the region of the exhaust chute, and it blasts it off of the walls. How are they getting, so they're just putting an electrical field around the, the chute, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's really cool. They but that's had, just for testing at the moment. It's not really. Oh, they had a. Uh, I thought it was a product. A product. I thought the grinder I saw at Host was a product you could buy. It's not on their website yet. So here I'm going to put water on the floor because. Okay, so here's this is my couple of weeks after having learned the. This is the. Then Weber workflow. It's actually it's pretty decent. Yeah. How about that? And so you'll distribute it. Right. So distribute. Di uh, it's distributed. It's still tapping. Yeah. But do you find these distribution tools are there? Have you tried any other ones besides the OCD? No, I haven't. Okay. I've just, uh, let's see, all right, let's put this one. Ooh, this 80th anniversary one. I get to make Jay a coffee. Oh my goodness. Exciting, exciting. Okay, right. Here's the required little tiny preheat event. Oh, look, I'll never know what I did, because I didn't tear that out. <laughs> I think that's probably good right there. You think? Yeah. How about that? Let's pop that out of there. Oh, my. All right, let's taste that. Yeah, see what kind of a horrible thing I produced. Genius, the roasting is genius. No shit, huh? <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's got a nice brightness to it. Is it? Nice and rich, yeah. Is it what is it what you brew at your place? Similar. It, it's brighter. It is brighter than what it's we brew. It's brighter? Mm hmm I gotta make myself one now. Mm. Let's see how that goes. Alright. Back to the Lynn Weber workflow. It is very quiet. Oh, here's the thing that's pretty interesting. Actually, this is the darkest coffee that's gone through it. And uh, it makes really dry coffee pucks. Oh, well, this one's pretty wet. This one does, yeah, but... Is that because maybe you run through, you run more coffee through it, or more water through Oh, that is really light compared to what yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. That's like uh, the coloration. Yeah, the, yeah. You're so your coffee. I'm interested in what it's going to taste like. Yeah, we've run our for our espresso. We've run right up to first crack, uh, second crack. Right up to second crack. Right up to the point yeah. turns right before it drops second crack. We drop the coffee out. Yeah, so that's some of Klaus Thompson's coffee. Oh, is that okay, Klaus? Yeah. Nice. Those Scandinavians like uh, like that light. I hate coffee in in these spouts. What do you mean? I just don't like seeing all the um, oh in in the spouts itself. The dark shit in there from the previous coffee, so I like rinse them out. But see, I don't work in a coffee shop, so I can do that. <laughs> well, plus in a coffee shop, you can't really see it. The customer can't see that. Right. Huh? Oh, there's the secrets right there. Secrets of coffee shops.
So you are supposed to shake it around like that, like in a circle? Like the, yeah, because you got to clear the coffee off no, the top of that. No, but I mean, before that. you did it, you, you kind of swirled it with your You kind of swirl it around. Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay. Why is that the case? Because that was my workflow with the EK-43. And I actually, uh, when I looked on the internet, I saw all the cool guys doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, those guys are very cool. Yeah, well, the Lynn, we the Lynn Weber... Um, videos on how to use their stuff where's lynn weber out of um so the company's in australia and the grinder gets made in taiwan oh. yeah and then akaya is the u.s uh akaya usa is the importer so now this time i'm not gonna screw up okay so we can zero so one thing that's really cool about lever machines that I learned, <coughs> there's no three-way valve, so when you're done, it all doesn't go shooting back up. Oh, look how clean here. Go look, look. Is that it should be pretty clean? It is. Oh yeah, that's very clean. Yeah, it's very clean. Like, it stays clean. Huh. Yeah. All right. So the plan. Yes. Yeah, yeah, all right. So let's see what we got. So you just bring it to 20? About 28 seconds, that seems all right. Then I'm going to let oh, it Oh, that go. is seconds, not, not weight. Right, that's seconds. Oh, that, that's weight this on the scale. Weight, yeah, so this is a little bit short. What if you, you, you want if you wanted a fifty percent, but I don't think it matters, right? I mean, it's these last couple. So I know what's good about this coffee already, but this coffee's got a shitload of body. Just looks like it the way it pours. Okay, here, here comes COVID. Here comes COVID. All right, let me see what I'm gonna drink. That's a traditional espresso. And it's not super acidic, but it's there. Mm -hmm. So, it's got tons of cream on. I'm gonna drink it because I don't know better and because it's good. <laughs> So, initial thoughts? My initial thoughts. Yeah, that's a, actually I don't drink that many dark coffees, so it's quite a difference. Do I like it? Yes. Okay. Of course I like it. What What do you normally drink then for espresso? So, so what am I drinking? So here is. Oh my God! What's in here? This is. Oh, this is a Yurgachev. Oh. Ah. That's a dry process Brazilian. Now, are you getting these all from other companies, or are you roasting them yourself? No, that got roasted upstairs. Oh, you roasted upstairs, okay. Yeah. I have a weird roaster upstairs. It's an electric drum roaster. Oh, interesting. And it's a one kilogram roaster. It's not easy to use. Okay. Because with gas, you can adjust the heat, and it's really quick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost instantaneous. And with an electric roaster, you know, it takes you... A minute before you see anything, so it's really easy to overshoot. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you know when it's losing mass and it gets the first crack and you got to dial it back. Or... Yes, no, I see that with my. I have a, I have a Quest M3 that we use for uh, sample roasting, so I definitely see some of that, that kind of like lag between like your adjustments and. Okay, is that one of those new computer controlled electric? No, ones? no, it's one of the. It's it's a couple. It's several years old. The model, and it's got an amperage meter. Amperage. Uh, adjusted adjustment on it that's it's really rudimentary in that respect but it, it's one of the it's a drum roaster taiwanese made 
Yeah. Okay. They, um, who sells it? It's Sweet Maria sells it. Okay. So you're you're, oh, you're trying to. Okay, get... here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Ah, it is drier now. Yeah. So you can even see the indentation. That's really nice. Yeah, is that cool? Yeah, that looks really good. It's really different from that. So what we should do before mm -hmm. we do that, let's see. All right. So this, and this should be pretty close. And the cat went out because she does not like this grind. <laughs> do you know John Gordon? Yes. So he's got this company that makes uh, uh, grinding burrs. Okay. And he makes them for these, so I have one of his burr sets in there. It's different from the EK burr set. Oh, is it really? Better? Um... It, it took me a year to get enough coffee through it to decide I liked it. It took a hell of a long time for me to break it in here. Now you know, in a high volume shop, not so long. Now, is it really a, like, when I think about the hardness of me metal versus the hardness of coffee, is there really a lot of that, is there really a lot of truth to the whole thing about like, it's abrasive, the yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's, um, there is crushing and cutting that happen together, and the amount that happens and the fines produced depends on how sharp the burr set is. Okay, okay. So initially, when it's brand new and really sharp, you get one kind of a, you get, you get one, well, you, you can, as you use it, tell that it's changing, I think. Yes, yes, okay. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I get this right. All right, we're assuming that got all of it in there. <laughs> now, I haven't used that in a couple weeks, and so now my workflow habits are going to be screwed up. <laughs> Well, how do you choose what to use it with so many machines lying around here? Uh, I've been using the Lynn Weber because it's kind of, uh, it's interesting and I like it. So, right, so this is the old canning funnel. These are yes. Akaya's, uh, these are Akaya's little, uh, tools that you can, uh, put directly on the, uh, you can do that with them, but I don't like doing it that oh, way. I, I do it this way. This is my way of doing it. Just because it gives you more space or better distribution or... Well, I like the way it distributes. Okay. It's not as fluffy and beautiful as over there, but it's not bad. Oh, now let's do this. Oh, uh, we lost it. Okay. Okay, same deal. How are you running your shop these days? Oh, very, very, uh, very tersely. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a cha it's definitely a challenge. This time, you, this time is a challenge. More than ever before. So do you think there's going to be a, um, that things are going to go to the old way and there's going to be, uh, Tighter. Mm. It's not too far off. Yeah. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. The crim has been looking really strong in this machine, I see. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, good. That looks like it's going to be okay. Hey. Uh, what makes you decide to, or what, how do you decide to stop? It mechanically stops, right? Right, but I mean, like, do you did ever pull the shot before? It's 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 mechanically. Yes, stopped. I've okay. done that. Yeah. But are you basing it on any particular reason when you do that? Only that I wanted a fifty percent brew ratio. Oh, okay. 
So, there's so once that... you reach 40 grams, just... then you stop. Right. I'm going to save this one because that profile looks pretty good to me. Save it. How do I save it? I think I pushed that, right? Save it. There it is. Save my shot. Nice. There it is. Now it's saved. So the next time we brew a shot, we'll be able to, it'll overlay that one. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so there, that one's worth. Okay, see if that this. one's different. Yeah, that the the brightness that I tasted in the first one, yeah, is diminished. Is diminished now. Mm. It's a little bit. It's very crisp. That's what I, I like it. You like this one better? Mm. Very much so. Oh, look so. at this. Oh, there, the pup looks even better. Oh, a little bit. There's a little bit of waviness on it. Like right about here. Yeah. But, but nice and dry, though. It's still Super good. dry. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so you'll see a big difference between that and the Simonelli. You get enough machines in here where things are all different, where you'll drive <laughs> you nuts. So are you getting machines mainly because people ask you to test them? Is that it? Yeah, so I started... Uh, yeah, I've been working as a consultant. You know, now that I don't work for the government anymore, I'm like a consulting guy. Right, right. So let's uh, tear that guy out. Now we'll know how much coffee we get. Back, 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 back. See, this one has more retention than the... Uh, yeah, right, so it's half a gram's hiding in there somewhere. Well, and I don't know how we're going to get it out. That So that's better by a good deal in, ter in that respect. But they're different grinders in terms of their taste profile. You can tell I don't run a coffee shop. <laughs> I think it's a different personality type and different skill set. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so you can see it going right down the profile over there. Yeah. See that? Oh. This What's the seven point? Oh, that's that's a pressure bar. Okay. Yeah, it's got a pressure sensor nice. inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So see how this pressure is going down a little bit, and the extraction here is a little quicker. Yeah. 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 So yeah. How about that? So it did finish quicker. Uh, yeah, it did finish quicker. It looks slightly... It'll, a little bit lighter yeah, from yours. Lighter. Yeah, all right, but this one's my one to drink. Time for COVID. This is... I think this has more acidity. It's crispy like an apple. Okay, okay. 
Well, that makes sense because yours is a little bit lighter, a little bit faster. Yeah. So that would be, I can see that would be a... I should have pulled, we should have pulled it into two cups. Hmm. Maybe the future ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, excellent. So they are different. Well, that's the thing. It just even just a, just a few moments difference in the extraction makes a huge can make a big difference in the uh, in the result. And I'll tell you the other thing is that when I let go of the handle, I I actually slipped on the clutch for a second. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. No, I don't. I don't know if I saw that either. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I wonder if that could have been the determining factor. Well, we can make another one. All right, all right. Let's go make another one. This one, let's pour into two cups. Good idea. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you did like everything that would get you disqual, you know, demerit points. Okay, so this is Simonelli. When you weigh everything out, you find out which coffees are more dense and which are not. Okay, that looks alright. 